All right. Hello, everybody. We are back playing Dungeons and Dragons, following the ongoing quest of the Dawn Forged Company. Um, last time, they had decided that it was worth their time to go find the a spell that could stop time, so they could get in uh, some extra. Well, part of the plan is to stop time so they can pull the piece of the god out of the main bad guy and so make him mortal and then they can kick him to the regular planes. It's a whole thing. Uh, kick him in the but, dick! <laughs> uh, in order to do this... Dick kick him! Dick kick him! Uh, dick kick him! <laughs> they needed to uh, go to this uh, smaller continent uh, to the northeast and... Uh, found themselves uh in the <laughs> they're trying to get to the vat mini fjords where it's that they've heard of this place where uh you know the supposedly uh there is a god of time kind of hanging out there but it's very difficult to find reliable information on it but they think they have a good enough source there so in order to get there they need to find somewhere close so they found a teleportation uh circle uh of the Bardic College close uh, in the Reppenstahl Peninsula. There they found the uh, master of the, <laughs> the, what did I call him? Yeah, anyway, the, the guy in charge. <laughs> what is it? Minst oh, master Minstrel, that's what I called him. Uh, Garviel Brightnote. And by knowing his actual real name, Nakarin Floshim, uh, they... Uh, earned his trust because only people he knows and trusts know his his actual name. Um, yeah. But other than that, the college was completely abandoned, so they decided to head into. Um, so, but he said he could help get them to the fjords, and they headed out into the darkness in the wilderness to try to make it their way. The uh, the darkness caused by both the realms being smashed together uh, has really uh, making things spooky as hell. You know, it's, uh, even with dark vision, your dark vision is halved, and beyond that it is just almost pure blackness. Uh, it has, it feels oppressive. It feels like you guys are all, like, the usual relief of being able to see, you know, farther than 15 feet out in front of you with magical light is, you know, it's starting to really set in you guys continue on your journey though um can i get perception checks from everybody Perfect. So uh, everybody got 20 or above. Uh, you do hear some sort of, there is a, it's hard to distinguish what, but there are sounds uh, up ahead, kind of over to the, coming from like a, a patch of trees to the left, you would assume. It's this kind of meaty, slopping sound. Well, we're going to avoid that. Perfect. Um, do y'all want to stealth around it? I think we already were stealthing, right? Because I got like a 54. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Woodlands. I'm going to pass without a trace for everybody. You already did. Perfect. Okay. So let me, let me, oh, yeah. You had a 52. That's right. Okay. Let me look here. <laughs> and then some weird thing talks to him. And then it was like, all right, we're done for the evening. And you're like, what? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, yeah, but I guess <laughs> what about the guy that talked to you? What did he, I forgot? What did exactly did he tell you? Ah, uh, I can help you become, you become one shadows. with the shadows. Oh, yeah, ask right. your friend Bright Note. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Um, so uh, you guys managed with the stealth checks that you guys already have, um, and be able to perceive it without needing to drop stealth at all. Uh, you guys continue on. Uh, making a way you it sounds there's definitely some sort of horrible sneaky, crunching sneaky, sneaky. of bone and something's been dismembered and eaten right does it sound like something we've heard before or something new mm, make oh, let's see what did you get for your perception like a 25 25 
Who got a 25? Let's see. Um, it sounds... Uh, with a 25, you could hear just the, the barest traces of the, the grunts and the moans. Because um, you've never heard these things eat before, but uh, you, you would assume that these are some of the lost, like the, the hungry and the, the oh, angry and all eating. those. Yeah, this is the first time you've heard them eating anything. Uh, first time they've had enough time before we killed them. <laughs> that, that's exactly it, actually. <laughs> um, you know, but you guys continue on in, in this darkness. I'm good at one thing. It's murder, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Barbarian professional murder. Uh, I thank you. <laughs> this kid just brought him a bowl. It's, a bowl. So, um, it's empty. <laughs> Clean this. It's yours present. now. <laughs> um, all right, so you guys continue on. Now I'm a bad dad. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Okay, um... I assume his his headset's wireless. He can still hear us, so we can keep going. Uh, is there any th so you guys travel for the... What you can gather is probably about 10 to 12 hours in this fashion. Be just coming up across, you hear horrible noises and things and are able to dodge around them. And uh, you guys make pretty good time for your first day. Um, well, how would you guys first like day. to rest? Uh, you don't have the time. Restfully. Yes, restfully. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't we have the fortress? I got the fortress right here. Oh, all right. Well, let's, should we do that? We don't have the tent is what we don't have. Oh, that's right. All right. The tower has food. It's just not your best food. It's more <laughs> time. Will the tower alert people to where we are? What isn't going to alert people to where we are? It is. A, it is a outside of hoarding outside of this realm. Yeah, I'd rather be in the tower though and be noticed than be noticed without a tower. Fair point. Unless one of our spell boys has something. I'm looking. I don't think I have anything prepared for that eventuality. I don't have Druid's Crowd prepared, so... I don't have a spell book with me, but if anyone has a spell idea, I could use Wish to get us, like, something. So what do you guys think about More that? I'm gonna go help, All right. help my wife real Let's quick. See. Let me think really quick. I uh, think Druid Grove might do something. Hang on. There's also the uh, Mordekainen's Magnificent Mansion, but I don't know if Uza would know about that. Probably not. I mean... It's a, it's a wish. I can just make a wish that sounds like that spell or something, you know what I mean? Right, but oh, he's trying true. not to metagame. Yeah, I'm trying not to metagame is all. Oh, I mean, I mean if, it's, if... Un it's unclear how the sorcerer's knowledge of different spells works with wish. It, That's I true. think it's sure. kind of an assumption that like, you gain some sort of like arcane knowledge of these abilities. So, I think there's wiggle room there. Yeah. More okay. than kind of double check with mansion is good, or just yeah, magnificent mansion. They're the same. They're the same. Spell. One is um, is longer it, named. One is branded. Mm. Um, is it a, a better option than our our fortress? It's an extra dimensional dwelling, so there's just ah. a sh faintly shimmering portal that you can place wherever you want, and then within it's a uh, sea. 50 cubes, each cube being 10 feet on a side. That is a big house. So, um, well, nine uh, course bank banquet for up to 100 people, staff of 100 near transparent servants. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's a very rad. high stair fucking spell. I'm surprised you didn't have <laughs> So, if we do that, um, is it, I think, think, is there a high chance that Phobator won't be able to fuck with us? Because if I use Wish and then I can't sleep very well, we'll lose Wish for next, tomorrow. Like, it's still... We're, we're, we're on a next. different plane, so it'd be similar to sleeping in limbo. Okay. I think, that, I think that's a good there's idea. There's also, we can literally ask fucking oh, Dean of Bard right, College yes. here and fucking yeah. Godling Boy whether they have anything that they can do. Oh, yeah. There's a possibility they might just have Mansion. It's a Bard spell. Yeah, absolutely. If he has mansion, we'll just fucking do that. Easy peasy. I mean, he had to be hiding out in that bard college somehow, right? That's true. True facts. Show enough, as the kids might say. 
Oh, well, no Beautiful. point in Druid's Grove at that point. You guys are going for, like, four seasons versus outdoor camping. So. <laughs> We're going for safe and hidden, I guess. Yeah. No, nah, you're going four seasons instead of camping. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. oh, I can't help you. They're glamping? Uh, yeah, we're glamping in the extreme. That level 19 glamping. Extra dimensional glamping. You'd do it if you could, you know. Oh, 100%. Hell yeah. Honestly, the biggest buff is not having to worry about Phobator fucking with us. Because yeah. uh, uh, that's the main concern, I think, right now. And it's good sure. for 24 hours. Ooh, wait, so the spell stays up and we can have the portal appear wherever we want for 24 hours? So you you place the doorway in a specific spot, right? Um, and it's invisible, I think, to anyone else you don't invite, and they can't come in unless you invite them. Kind of like your tent. You can um, open or close the portal if you're within 30 feet of it, while closed the portal is invisible. And yeah. you can designate who can enter the dwelling. So you could you could cast it, go to sleep, and then still get the benefits of it for another. What the fuck's the math on that? 16 hours while you have your wish spe uh, spell slot back. Sweet! But you can't move. It seems like you can't move the door. Correct. No, once once it's cast, it's, it's in it's that It's there. Yeah. That makes sense. So, I mean, might not necessarily be useful for us. The extra time might not be useful for us today, but right. if but the extra things go pear-shaped... <laughs> they might. It's a fallback point. <laughs> yeah, well, and now oh. we have a plan if, if we need a rest after any amount of time, and I still yeah. have oh. <sighs> It's good. Because we can also, theoretically, you can also get in the mansion and then cast Plane Shift to get us back to Kern. That's a good Ooh, point. I like Although that. I have Teleport now. Oh, you have Teleport now. That's true. Yeah. Love that Teleport. Love that, Tannhausen. What about his curse? Cass! <laughs> Ty, we had a question. I love that, Tannhausen curse. Ty, we had a question. Just yes. With, T with Vicer's wish, Yeah. Um, like, what's his knowledge of spells that are not currently known by the party? So, depending, uh, as long as you specify to me that you're trying to do something uh, using known magic... It's just how you phrase it. I think your wish would be capable of filling that in with your sorcerer's yeah, blood kind of guiding meta -known? it. Meta known? Meta? What's yeah, what's I mean, it's impossible <laughs> not to meta wish. <laughs> like, we, we did. Well, I guess my point is, is like, like, for example, Zarek might have spells that he knows but does not have prepared and could explain to Viser yeah. or things that he has heard of in his studies that he hasn't. I, I think for Oh, there you go. If any use, there just has to be just hand no, waving. Honey, magic stuff, you know are what you I mean? Kidding me? Um, Ply, real quick, does our bard friend have uh, what was it? Mansion? Magnificent, Magnificent mansion. mansion. Uh, you'll have to ask him. <laughs> That's what hey. we're doing. I know. Well, no, so we did say tie, like not <laughs> Mr. Bright Gold News. Hair friend. Uh, yes. Uh, a couple things. One, uh, the shadows talk to me. We're going to get into that later. Uh, do you know of any? He looks extremely would... worried as you say the shadows talk to you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's not the first time. It might be the first time. They, I think they hummed the first time. I don't know. Do you? Can you make like a house? Can you make a place for us to rest? Uh, absolutely. Are you sure none of you is capable of providing housing at this time? You could you do it, but they don't want to sleep outside. So. Uh, nor do I. Sleeping outside is a bit um... Honestly, our main concern right now is the being able to sleep and not be bothered by Phobator. We have a solution that we think would work, but we wanted to see what um, what resources you might have available, because it would cost us uh, some big ones. So. Oh, all right then. Uh, stand back. And he... Um, <laughs> uh, he and pulls out... Tell us what he's going to do before he does it? <laughs> Can you what? Um, uh, I... Never mind. Nothing. Sorry. Okay. Uh, he pulls out his lute and he starts to strum a tune. And he's like, A place to call home when on the road. Take it with you wherever you go. Mordecai in secret. 
magnificent mansion. And they cast it. Hey. And uh, hey. you guys watch as, as he's he's strumming the chords, uh, the the notes like start to take shape it's very similar to like when Zach's motes of uh, inspiration. But as they do, they kind of start to like stay like start lining around a door and stretching out until this very clear image of a door um, makes itself out of nothing. And then, uh, all right, well, uh, don't worry about wiping your feet. The carpet does that for you. And he opens the door <laughs> and inside is ridiculous it's it's like marble floors gold way too much gold almost um and there are servants there's a giant table full of food when you walk in um the food it's it's really it's like there's no actual food on the table yet it's just a bunch of covered silver platters uh, and then as as you walk in, like, staff are asking you questions like, oh, would you like a bath? Would you like a massage? Would you like a room? What can I get you? <laughs> like, as well, as you kind of walk in and through, and he's like, and there's a big giant painting of, of him uh, playing the flute in front of the, the king and queen. <laughs> or, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you see there's just a, he's on a horse for some reason, for absolutely no reason anybody can figure out, because he's clearly in the middle of, like, a court. But it's a giant. Is the horse, horse amazing? Oh, it's it's amazing. If I gave it a liquid, it tastes just like raisins. Just like raisins. Damn, this place has got everything. Do I need to see where the lemonade is made? <laughs> oh, sweet lemonade. <laughs> Do you think so? I better not. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Sir, that's I'm eight. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Jesus. Now we're resurrecting one of the oldest freaking jokes on the internet. Um, Wait, we started? God damn it. Oh, the there it is. <laughs> I think that's now officially entered classic <laughs> meme territory. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, you guys are, are welcomed in. Uh, there's also, and of course, uh, those who you wish to train uh, downstairs, fighting pits, upstairs. Is, uh, you can stare into the nothingness that is this plane. It's a little shiny, sparkly sometimes, but uh, yes, welcome to my mansion. This is fan fucking tastic. Yeah. Okay, better than what I could have done. Oh, do you think so? Nah, I'm sure there's many spells that uh, all of you know. You managed to walk into the Bardic College from where again did you say you came from? Does it look like I know spells? No. Nah. He can yes. cast punch. It absolutely, with your multicolors in the eyes and things, looks like you're very capable of some sort of magic. Oh, he's got you there. No, he does got today. you there. No, I did that today. I can't do it again. Just once a day. Mm. Uh, remember when you cast uh, Hiroshima? <laughs> <laughs> what? We, call it, we are we not call calling it, it that. I'm going to kibosh that now. <laughs> like, not that. No, it's not Hiroshima. Oh, God. Oh, Hiroshima. Sorry. Get it right. Yeah, we're just gonna call it Little Boy from now on. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, God. oh God. What if I did? No, it's all a dragon. It's gonna be Fat Man. Uh, That's yeah, Fat cute. Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Go down. Moving on. Something comedy. <laughs> I was just gonna call it the Sonic Breath. I mean, I was just straight up gonna steal Godzilla's shit. That's what it is. There, there you go. go. I mean, much. A, a Godzilla's but that's basically the same that? shit. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. And the, how did you all come together? You all do seem kind of uh, mismatched, if you don't mind me saying. <gasps> you take that. Wait, no. He already heard the song. You right. should fucking know. Is this a doppelganger? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, if I reduce him to zero hit points, we'll know. Yes, the the, <laughs> the song was 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 great and everything, but well, the, the song is always the altered version of what actually happened. How Honestly, it was it actually pretty close. Yeah, yeah if no, anything, I, it's came down. Imagination in my work, I find that like a bit of realism really like holds the whole thing together. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, very nice. Uh, and you say you wrote that yourself. Oh yeah, Do you have a... just kind of been working on it for like, you know, the whole time we've been doing this. It was a much shorter st song to begin with, but it's kind of gotten unwieldy over time. 
what was it when you As first started? We're the Zornforge Company, la la la, the, the, the end. <laughs> I mean, pretty much, uh, basically, the first time I think I used it was to convince a council that, like, we were, like, you know, worthy. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It worked. Interesting. Was that, was that the, 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 uh, Verner Council? I believe so, but after the oh, start, shit. I think that I've was been the here since. Time. I've been here since the song. It makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, there really was a slime that was pretending to be stuck in the place for three days but didn't have enough shit in his pants. That's, that's a real fact. Yeah. True fact. Actually yeah. happened. It has yeah. to go somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I got a compliment by Sarah. Trying to rhyme anything with lack of shit in your pants, that's that's tough. Oh, yeah. You nailed it. Gotta let him know in advance. Let's see. Um, well, you see, we did have to put him into a trance, so that helped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, trances, slad, you say? Interesting. And uh, do you mind if I write this song down? No, I hope you do. I mean, like, that's what it's there for, right? So the, uh, the history of Kravas becomes... Uh, <laughs> I only ask there are those bards who wish to keep their tunes their own and get quite upset if you sing their songs, and then there are those who build them to spread you know like a college would so yeah uh, if, no, fair enough. if you all end up saving you know the realms and of whatever darkness and everything is happening outside then i mean there should be much more singing than just yourself i think but anyway, well, i don't think by sarah's gonna rest until this song is like played on every single corner of this planet and that i can and a couple with. other planes <laughs> What are the planes? So let's see. I think you, you said you went to the Abyss, the Feywild, mm -hmm. and uh, Limbo. Limbo. Uh, mm -hmm. You're all still in one piece. Uh, air elemental plane. Ah uh, yes. Briefly, that that was that was a more of a dip of your toes. Do you, you still banished there? Hell, the demigod there. Yeah, man. That's we killed cool. that demigod's ass. I shot him I in the know. neck. <laughs> I almost fell. Forever. He did fall. Just not forever. <laughs> yeah. That you know. shit got crazy. There was like a platform and then there wasn't. <laughs> I did all right. Yeah, so I visit from time to time when Vicer has an extra spell slot. Oh, I talk to my god. Seems like there's it's just communion with extra steps, but it works. I think it's communion with less steps. Is it? Because I you get like three you. questions... With no time limit. But I guess, yeah, no, I guess you're right. No, it's... Yes. Right. Do you have Better. To, do you have to That's eat wafers or anything for your communion? That's what? <laughs> oh. Little crackers sometimes. Is that a fucking... Is that a bird joke? Are you... Are you no, because of a fucking oh, bird? Man, we can't have are you... Are you <laughs> no. Does, does Polly want a fucking... Cra I'm a bird. Uza, I, I picked Uza up by his scruff. I'm all... I'm all poofy. I'm just Uza, fucking with him. Uza, Uza. No, I'm just fucking with him. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just, <laughs> no, no, that's great. Do you know how many times I've made inter, uh, in, in, unintentional racist comments, especially when we were in the Dwarvis City? It was crazy. I'm well aware. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, as I, I do okay. see there's a uh, feast waiting. Uh, are you all hungry, I assume? Yeah, I'm always. Yeah. <laughs> I want to grab the first attendant and tell him I want graham crackers. <laughs> <laughs> of course, sir. He's, so he kind of looks around and he's like, well, you know, why have uh, on feast when you've proven you've earned a hero's feast? And he uh, pulls out a gem encrusted bowl and he puts it on the middle of the table. And then you see he um, he pours just a little water in it and then he like licks his finger and then mm, catches a tone and then as the tone goes he splashes his fingers in the water and then starts playing on his uh his lute and as the the tune goes you see like this kind of con the the water forms this line between the lute and the bowl and the bowl starts to like first it like flattens out and you see the the gems and everything in the in the uh, the bowl, the gold of the bowl, like cover the table, and then from each gem, these uh, dishes start popping up and like growing until there's this whole hero's feast from the spell hero's feast uh, for y'all to eat. 
You know, this guy's being really nice. Kind of too nice. I want to roll it. <laughs> <in there. laughs> Go ahead. Um, so, Heroes Feast. Uh, <laughs> it's good timing. <laughs> you know, right? Really... I rolled a four, so 19. <laughs> I'm not quite eight. set up for somebody Nine. can roll for me. Oh, wait, I'm not doing an inside check. I'm by saying I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see one thing. So a 19 and a 9. If it helps, blood scale is inherently distrusting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it seems fine. There's nothing, like, untoward. Uh, you can, guys, you know, mark up the benefits of a uh, a hero's feast for the next 24 hours. Right. Oh, wait, I gotta roll for your 2d10. If, uh, Ty, if you could do, handle that on Vice Air. Appreciate sure. It. Uh, so y'all add uh, 14 temporary hit points. Or no. Oh, shit, that's pretty yeah. solid. They're not even temporary, they're just... Maximum is increased by 14 for the next... Uh, oh, that's right. So those can be rehealed. <laughs> um, is there any sort of like um, enchantment I can do with Wish? Uh, kind of tell me what you want to do, and I'll, I'll see what I can. Is there anything within the normal like range of the Wish spell that would allow me to enchant someone's weapon? I haven't used it today, so I'm trying to find like a good. Oh, to create a permanent enchantment? It. No. Yeah. Okay. You can always re up Threesa. Would that hurt his... him at all? Or? No, I, I would allow you to refresh his, his physical state and all of his abilities without destroying him. Okay, yeah, I'll do that then. Okay, uh, whoever's in charge of Threza, reset Threza all the way. Uh, Threza. How now many temporary hit points? Uh, 14. 20... 14, okay. Yeah. And then, then in the uh, morning I'm going to do a heroic speech to give everyone more. Perfect. Yeah, because these, since they increase your max HP for the next 24 hours by 14, you can Ooh. have temporary hit points on top of that. So you guys are about to be looking real good. Um, getting, getting yoked, bro. Yeah. Uh, you also, um, you're cured of all diseases and poisons. You become immune to poison and being frightened. And you have advantage on all wisdom saving throws for the next 24 hours. All right. We need to do this more often. It's expensive. It is quite expensive. Right. Uh, Almost prohibitively expensive. That that one bowl with all the gems and everything was worth a thousand gold. Just to give you an idea. I'm going to lean over to Bloodscale. Is he asking us to pitch in, or is he rubbing it in our face? Uh, he's rubbing it in our face. Okay. I'm way cooler with that. You could just be nice. The amount, the amount of Electrum we have will more than cover anything. It's fine. Oh, for sure. I just died. Just being funny? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm not being quiet at any of this. Just... Uh, okay. It was... <laughs> it was just, it's just, it was a... Oh, no, he's just rubbing it in our face. Yeah, no, we have plenty of Electrum. <laughs> it's so much exactly that, yeah. He rolled a nat 20 on his perception check, so he, hears, he heard everything, and he's just looking over like, Sorry, am I doing anything to make you uncomfortable? Anybody I don't know makes me uncomfortable. No, I just wanted to make sure, like, see if we were pitching in for that. That's all. Oh, no. I... No, that's perfectly fine. Don't worry. Do, do, you, want to, do you want to split, split, split the chair? Okay. Let me get the tip? No. no. <laughs> oh, well. you know, just having people to talk to is more than a relief. Ah. Oh. So when do you want to talk about shadows? Never. Because they want to talk about you. I bet they do. That's a weird thing to say. Why do you, why do you think that? <laughs> Sorry, this wine and this hero's feast is strong. Uh, it's, it's a long story. But if you truly wish to speak of it now. I mean, unless anyone else had, had things... I just, I, I remember you saying you were going to try and get the shadows to dance. I had a couple ideas on that that I wanted to, you know, brainstorm your way. Uh, Storm, get it? No, you don't <laughs> get it. Uh, Akati stuff. Um, but I also didn't want to step on toes down here. What is in this wine? In this drunk <laughs> sense of Feywild. 
As far as I know, there's no fate in Clueless. I hope not. That that ended poorly. <laughs> oh dear. What did you do? Oh, I didn't do anything, but we got poisoned. A lot of, like, three people died? I was going to say a lot, but three? I don't know. Yeah. On Seely Court, they were being dicks. We kicked their ass. It was fun. Oh, yes, the song. That's, okay. that's right. Yeah. Do you want to see the pa Oh, the paintings in the tent. No, the paintings in the tower. Well, no, paintings in the tower. That's fine. Can I use Minor Illusion to show him the painting? Hey! <laughs> it's my painting. It looks um, like this. <laughs> he snaps his fingers, and you see a bunch of servants like uh, bring out this big canvas from another room. One starts looking at it and starts painting, making an exact copy. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna point to uh, the super awkward highlighted moment of Zephyr and Mesnos's first kiss. Make sure you get that in detail. And the um, anime kawaii eyes that Bloodscale had for the um, uh, oh, fucking what's her name? The 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 main chick from the uh, Seely Court. Queen yeah. Titania? Yes. I don't remember that. Uh, somebody had big goo goo eyes for her. I don't remember. I mean, you know what? I'll look at my painting. I have a description of it. Nice. Six, I don't Call. think it was Blood Scale. Might not have been. Um, it's unlikely that it was Viserys. <laughs> Viserys Ace. His ace is Ace can Ace. <laughs> yeah. Ace icon. If he was a bard, he'd play bass. <laughs> yeah. He'd be Ace of Bass. So nope. I have Ace of Bass. Yeah. <laughs> yep, you did it. You saw Excuse the sign. Me. Right one. <laughs> I mean, they're all in I mean, if we're doing literally anything else, I can look this up later. I don't remember where I put it. Okay. Oh, fair enough. You're usually so organized, I just assumed you were almost there. I <laughs> thought it was in my equipment, but it's not. Yeah, you thought! <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> ah! uh, you thought... All right, so, um, so you, you wish to speak of the dark? Well, I mean, not the dark. I mean, do you think it's the dark? I don't know. Eric just uh, kind of like pulls up a chair and sits down, listening. Oh, for sure. Anybody who wants in on this, we're also listening in on this. It was because well, he just fell. himself to so go have I a think, bath. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna. Don't forget. Ask. He's gonna want. Um, Pine scented soap, if you guys have it. Uh, the servants will take care of all that he needs. Black <laughs> dream. No. He likes dwarfish spring soap. Mm. <laughs> okay, so. That just made me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> what did the darkness tell you? I'm an odd spice man myself. <laughs> A bard spice man, you mean? <laughs> It smells like a skunk oh, over here. does have a bunch of bard spice that he's taking with him to the bath. There you go. <laughs> oh, Constance is going to be for that. Do it right. <laughs> so, what did the darkness tell you? Well, uh, so I, I, I stealth, I think, so well that I became a part of it. Uh, partially uh, and with help from our druid over there. Um, and it said, I can help you become one with the shadows. And when I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Who are you? And it just said, ask your friend Bright Note. Sorry, I think I... I know who is speaking to you, then. I mean, is that a good thing? I don't know. It's probably oh. Shah, ah. the mistress of the night. Goddess of darkness. Oh. oh. Ooh. I once made a deal with her and got out oh. of that deal. And I'll... Uh, probably will ask you to kill me or something like that in order to become one with the dark so that's something to um, for. I mean if it makes you feel better it's not the first time I've had an offer of hey murder this thing and you could be a part of the secret order and dark magic uh, I didn't take that last one either I'm pretty me and Akati were like we're pretty tight that's good yes yeah. I, I just it was one of those things like Oh, he's talking about making shadows dance. 
Maybe we can get those to like dance. I don't know. It was fucking weird. Why is she looking at me? <laughs> Why does she want to kill you? Oh, that's um, a better question. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I want to apologize to everybody now. I'm, I'm like four beers in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I forgive four, you. Four ten percent beers. Fine. So. I don't that forgive means, you because I don't have any Uza's beer. Been, that just uh, means Uza's drinking wine. Percent. That's why I said Uza drank some wine at the Heroes Feast. <laughs> Twenty. Yeah, you drinking beer. sour beers or something, man? No, this is the um, uh, the Sinky Brewing Company Tricera hops. Nine percent <laughs> alcohol per volume. Damn. Okay. I love that Jurassic Park is such like a national like thing that they just, you know, oh, one of the movies is coming out. Time for some random beers that are dinosaurs now. <laughs> well, they've been doing this for a while. Oh, okay. I think it's just because it rhymes with hops. Anyways, sorry. Derail. Back on the track. Check it, check it. Here we go. That's okay. Beep, beep. Um, well, and so Shaw sees all that happens in the night and as a young bard being attacked on the road at night, uh, it looked like I was going to die. And there was a chance not to die, and I took it. But then she Did you out. make a deal? Oh, yeah. What was the deal? Well, uh. Well, one, one of the parts of the deal was never tell anyone of her, which <laughs> I tell very few people. I feel like that's a ridiculous thing to ask of a bard. It is. It really is. And it's such a... It, it, was, it would have been such a good story when, before the entire world went black, because... Uh, she used to, apparently. Uh, she claimed dominion over uh, parts of mortal dreams, but uh, apparently had been unable to visit those in their dreams. So she wanted to visit me in mine and use me as some sort of vessel to try to reinvade the other dreams of other mortals as she had lost that power. What are you? I mean, go on. I am enthralled at this point. <laughs> so apparently uh, she was looking for those who either needed her or lived so much in the shadow that she could re-exert her influence over the natural world that way. This mortal realm, of course. Uh, she's, uh... very against hope, though. So... Now, do you think this thing with her in dreams, right? So you said she could no longer access others through their dreams, is that right? That is correct, yes. Ooh. Seems to me like she might be pretty amenable to some sort of deal, uh, something to do with Felvator, because that means that yes. he's definitely like doing this, right? Like he Never. he's messing with people's dreams. Do not fall you for any he's... of her deals. There are those who talk of her as if she's some sort of healer, uh, who soothes the grief stricken and let them forget their woes, but she is as dangerous as alcohol and ten times more addicting because she is a sadist. I she put will my wine glass down. <laughs> she will inflict the pain of loss or the fear the thing that she helps you forget she will reinflict ten times more and does not release pain but only gives you a numbness to it do you think right. Phobator stole his power from her? I think Ooh. I think whatever channels are open to those higher beings it's in order to visit us while we are in a vulnerable state, uh, such as sleeping, or suggestion, or hypnosis. Um, or whether we give those, there are those who are holy who give themselves into this state and are able to channel uh, holy power much more efficiently. Uh, those who are even born with it in their blood. But I believe whatever specific delay line to our dreams was cut off to Shah. Phobator had finally found a way to actually become the god of nightmares instead of just being an immortal with a cult. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Curious. So she is a powerful ally, but not to be nice. I mean, is she is she just as happy as a pig and shit right now, or no. pardon my language? I would not dare to speak of her in any place but this. 
her attention on me and her ability to see all that happens in the dark is uh, disturbing. Uh, so you're saying your advice is to in no way see if she can be an ally in our fight with Phobator. Is that uh, what you're saying? I'm saying she, what if, are she's, you? if she's come to one, to you, one of you, she may eventually come to all of you. Do not fall for any promises. What so kind of promises does she make? I mean, she will ask. Uh, she will come to you in a time where you need her. You need something uh, to... And she will somehow have an explanation of how she can get it to you. It all sounds great. But by the time you get your part of the deal or your desperation wears off, you will find yourself in a much worse position than when you started. I mean, yeah, yeah, that 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 makes a whole lot of sense. Okay. She so. is here. She may have brought the Tower of Loss with her. Her home. The what Tower the of Loss is the Tower of Loss. Well, <laughs> Shah's Tower of Loss was it was a new demi realm that was created near, near the Astral Sea, kind of where the Shadowfell used to border the Astral Sea. And uh, there she would uh, harvest mortals for power, just feed on their despair, turn them into other things, dark things. Well, shit, there goes my whole idea of making the shadows dance to open up uh, the awake. Yeah, fuck. Okay, you shit. Turn to what? You said you were going to make Shadows Dance to awaken... Hold on. <laughs> it opens up a tiny little book. <laughs> <laughs> He's fast with that thing. I never see him writing it, but there's always more in it. <laughs> Serenita. You said you were going to use the Shadows to awaken Serenita? The Aarakocra, who was like <laughs> the last of the Aarakocra? Yes, no, that's mm. totally different thing. That's that's more based on my musical and magical abilities. That no, 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 no. like, I understand that now. I'm just saying you had said that, and I was, like, trying to brainstorm ways to help with that because I really need her out and awakened. And, like, all of a sudden, like, we're talking like oh, we're going to make the shadows dance, and then the shadows start talking to me. I thought, I was like, oh, I can utilize. No, bad idea. <laughs> no. Sounds uh, like, nope. <laughs> part of what I can do is uh, <laughs> animate things. I bring them to life. Like, um... This. And he starts, he, he strums off a tune, and then you see, um, as he plays the chord, a broom starts to vibrate with the tune, and then fucking goes full uh, Fantasia and starts sweeping around and stuff. <laughs> it gets arms and starts sweeping itself across the floor, and it starts to I'm whistle gonna, as it goes. I'm gonna try something weird. Okay. And you let me know if it's beyond the power of this spell. Sure. It should be within, I mean, it's, it's, it's just utilizing the spell in a different way. I would like to cast light okay. <laughs> on something on the other side of the broom, but in a way that makes it flash like lightning so that the broom shadow is moving in more of a stop uh, claymation animation yeah. thing. So, yeah, the only, the only thing with that would be it's, it's just casting and uncasting the light spell, and yours is already tinted blue like lightning, so yeah, that's no problem. You can stand and be like flicking it on and out. <laughs> My stare just kind of slowly turns to the Uza, like what? What? On his face? I, uh, look, man, I just, it's, it's, a, it's a god thing. I don't know. I'm trying to find Whisper, remember? says he has an idea. I'm just trying to help him. Who? Who? Oh. What? Who? Who? How did, how did, who are you helping? She said mom with the lightning? She looks like the the mom. broom? I was making the broom shadow dance. You, you look across the wall, the shadow right. keeps appearing and disappearing as if it is the... Uh, what would happen if make... you drink the shadow of this thing? <laughs> Jesus, I've drank too many shadows. You know, I'm going to be hung over enough from this wine. I don't want to add fucking 
<laughs> shadow drinking hangovers. That's, that's and it's bad. badly for me. Remember when I got possessed and it tried to kill me? Yeah. I mean, I was just wondering, it'd be like a minute. You know what I mean? <laughs> you'd be over oh. it really fast. <laughs> Doesn't that's matter. That's true. You shouldn't do it. It's a bad idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a, You know what? No. No. Stop. Shut up. You're a genius. Me? Yes. You. I. And I'm going to... I'm gonna even better. Um, where's blood skin? Blood, blood, blood skin. Yeah. Bye, Sarah. Can I see your hand? Do you trust me? <laughs> yes. I hold up my hand. <laughs> oh shit! I can't do it right now. I'm not attuned to the goddamn knife. Give me an hour. <laughs> All right. Meet back here in an hour. Meet back here in one hour. No. Uh, All right. We'll just uh. Remind him I, he's on about something. It'll be good. <laughs> oh, you're a fucking genius, TJ. It's, <laughs> God damn it. I'm Why missing. did I do that? What did he say? I have no idea what I've done. This is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say that, that inspired I am, I am. He said, Why don't I drink that thing's shadow? And I realized I can make <laughs> the fucking shadow of something move around and fucking dance if I'm attuned to Shadow Drinker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna put my wine down. I'm grabbing a sweet roll, and I'm just gonna go stare at a knife for an hour. Oh man, it's a very high energy uh, companion. I see. <laughs> he likes to get in there. He's very proactive. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, all right. So you made a deal with the god of goddess of darkness, and yes. how does she not hold you accountable to this, though? Aren't you? Isn't there some sort of like? Well, that's the yeah. thing about deals, is if you word them properly, sometimes you can get out of them. How'd you get out? Well, uh, I gave her access to use me as a dream conduit and everything like that, but... Mm-hmm. If you're an elf, you can do this thing instead of dreaming. You can go into a meditative state. So, so you just don't sleep? I just don't sleep. Pissed her off to no end. Yeah, I bet. No, 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 no. That will do it. Yeah. Had you come to the college in normal times, you would have seen how brightly I keep my room most of the time. Uh, That's also why I chose okay. the name Bright Note. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> a big old middle finger, I like it, I dig it. I mean, if you're going to give a middle finger, it might as well be the best one you can give. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you were going to, like, make her more mad. You pretty much maxed out that one, didn't you? <laughs> Bad habit of mine. <laughs> right. Yeah, God so, can't want to kill you more, right? Exactly. So, the time stop spell. Do you uh, know about it? Unfortunately, that is something that is <sighs> more of conjecture than actually seen in my lifetime. Anyway. Boring. It's one of those things that's theoretically possible, because there are all sorts of magics that affect the flow of time, whether for an individual or for a group. So it should be theoretically possible for someone to uh, completely stop time for everything but those they choose. It's just the power required to stop that cosmic wheel, and the attention it might draw has kind of deterred a lot of the magicians of our age to, from trying. Well, after all. Did you say time flows differently for each person? Well, yes, when you cast the slow spell or haste, time flows differently for you. Ah, right. Does that mean if someone else was to cast the stop time spell after we cast it, they would join us in, like, that quick, that moment? I mean, it, I guess it, it would be impossible for anybody to do that, because if time is stopped, they couldn't do nothing after you until your t- spell was done. Fair enough. They'd have to just literally to sure. cast it at the exact same moment. I just wanted to make sure that their that time flow thing didn't work the way I thought it might. All right, yeah, cool. It would only be capable of some consciousness beyond time, like those of the the wheels and cogs of Mechanicus. Uh, do I know what Mechanicus is? Uh, give me a history check. You might actually. Boop 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 doop 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 doop. Guidance? I'll take it. <laughs> Question mark? Yes, please. Thank you. Do 
12. <laughs> Whoops, I have I'm... a plus 5, too. God. Hold on one second. I might be calling it the wrong thing, because I think I, I confused some of my Warhammer lore in here. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you, you can just lie to us. I'm not going to know. Oh, hail the Emperor. Wait. No. Which other um, Emperor? Uh, Bobator, fuck that sorry. guy. He's just a chaos guy. We'll go to sleep here in a second. Anyway. Oh, boy. Let's see. Mechanicus, Ty, you dumb stupid boy. <laughs> I mean, I bought it. Yeah, I bought it too. I was that's just because like... that's because Mechanicus is is such a great name. That, you know, <laughs> sounds like I thought it was the god villain. for those uh, Modron things that we've been seeing. That's the plane that I'm talking about, but it's not called Mechanicus. Um, it is now. Is it Gond? Giricus Maximus. <laughs> Sorry. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna try to stop derailing. It is mechanic. It is me Mechanus. 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 Yes. Well, do, I, do I know what Mechanus is? Mechanus Prime. Uh, let's see. With uh, yeah. Since he's got a... Tw <laughs> since it's a, since it's oh. a different name, does he get a different role? Yeah, there's a whole different yeah. thing to remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's the end of the day. Have you used all your luck? Oh, uh, I do not believe I have. Let's do you want to use one? <laughs> yes. Perfect. Story. Wow. Fuck, dude. Do I hey, still get the three? Thirteen is. No? Yeah, you still yeah, get yeah. the three. Okay. All right. Well, you um, know what? It's the end of the day. I can do a one. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> um. So, Mechanus, uh, you would know a little bit out of it, just that it is in one of the outer planes, and it is the only plane that is lawful neutral. Um, mm. And well, uh, Mechanus, it's. Uh, it's interesting, because it's sometimes called Nirvana, but I think it'd be awful to live there. It's a place of rules, law, and process. Oh, organization above everything else. Uh, the denizens of the place disagree on how order's to be maintained, but in the end they all serve structure. Uh, without structure, they believe they're literally nothing. Um, it's, a, one of, an in, it's a plane with an infinite number of country-sized circular interlocking gears. Uh, some are, well, the continents that, that they live on. They're habitable on either one or both sides, depending on the orientation of these cogs. It's uh, quite the place. But one of the things is they don't like it when something goes so hard against the natural rules of the Omniverse by doing screwing with things such as time. Mm. So... It sounds like they would have zero reason to interfere with what we'd be doing. Is that right? I mean, as long as you... If you're going to stop time, don't make a habit of it, is all I'm saying. You don't want to kept, catch a, catch the eye of any of their more powerful beings that believe in absolute order and, well, if they see you as a threat to the universe, I'm just saying, be careful or be ready. That's all. Is, is this place inhabited by a bunch of little metal-looking dudes with, like, gears and cogs as their body? Yes, yes, and usually multiple faces. Yeah, yeah, we kick the shit out of them. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, those little <laughs> ones are what? not what I would fear. Yeah, neither would I. We kick the shit out of them. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. also true. <laughs> also, would you know why a bunch of them would be commanded by some illithid, possibly one that's undead in the Astral Sea? Is that weird? It's that's weird. weird seemed weird to us what yeah. were they doing um they were turning gears which seemed <laughs> self-serving is that how you would say that pg i don't know my brain was eating that day it was fucking weird hmm. he did have a rough one that day yeah i died and then there was brain surgery and then i had a new body and i was brought back and now i'm part lightning elemental <sighs> Yeah, we literally okay. left his young body laying there on some, 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 the ship of... Oh, no, it's still there, isn't it? No, you no, threw no, it no, no. We, 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 we threw it out in the Astral Sea. I held a funeral That's for myself. right. We had Very cathartic. Going away. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, he's a man now. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, a hobgoblin made me a man and Zephyr watched. <laughs> anyway, um... 
He's right, though. Is there any... I am going there to have... Any... <laughs> if there's any time after <laughs> saving the world, allow me to teach you how to tell a proper story. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm having a blast. He's doing a great job. Oh, <laughs> Believe me, his type of stories are the kind that, like, you hear... They really come together like the fourth or fifth time you hear them, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. You should remind me about my Beholder story sometime. So... All right. <laughs> those little Modron aren't what you fear. The thing I would fear is the merit. This gigantic cosmic enforcer. Like a, it's something that can teleport you into the, the, the center of their city and plain. Uh, the Hall of Concordance and Sigil. You do not want to be there. Can you imagine trying to justify in a plane of, ex a plane of pure law where you must obey every law no matter what, every act of your existence... Oh, I'd be fucked. I'd be so fucked. Don't there, I? Don't. I, not, I'm not going. There are a few living creatures who would not be. I'm just saying. Be careful with messing with time. Okay, so like once. 10 or 12 tops. <laughs> <laughs> if that's how you want to read it. I mean. Who's this over here with the history eraser button? Like. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't like that part. Erase, erase, erase. Right in in child's language. Uh, any other questions, my? I mean, I love telling a good story, clearly. I don't know. All right. I don't think I have any. No. Where do you plan on doing this whole um, uh, shadow dance thing to um, entice Sirenita? Am I saying that right, Ty? Serenita? Okay. Yeah. Serenita, okay. Well, uh, it depends on, you know, as we get closer, uh, if we can find a place where we can feel confident being loud, uh, and we'll start there. And, uh, you know, uh, it'll all depend on, you know, the timing and, and the things available, but usually around a campfire is the most entertaining place to do it. Perfect. Um, what is... So we still got this knife thing that I'm going to work out, but what did you think about the whole lights in the broom stop motion thing? Is that excellent? Is that no, I, I, okay. The thing about it is it's not necessarily the shadows dancing themselves or anything. She's attracted to the performances of, uh, and the better the performance, the more likely we are to get her notice. So any addition to it is going to be perfect. It's, it's the thing. It's, uh, the more people add, so, the better. Just stare at Viceair. So basically, me and you could probably get our attention pretty quick, yeah? I mean, if anybody can. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Um, if we can't, who could? Yeah. Stick? If we can't, she truly has left this realm for good. <laughs> I guess that would be bad to check. <laughs> oh, no. So I know from a very reliable source uh, that she is here. Uh, we have the capability of awakening her. And... Yep, those are the two important things that I asked about her. All right, well, I'll have to. Uh, we'll have to make it work then. Yes, yes, you will. No pressure. Lots of pressure. <laughs> just, wait, what are we doing? I, I missed something. So we have to. We have to awaken her. Mm -hmm. She's um, locked away in some kind of time bubble. Time bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's, she remember the last time we played this one? Uh, she's the one that can, just, like, just summon air elementals. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's yeah. The, uh, the last third of my religion's pillars. Okay, so we need to go get her in, um, what, like, hopefully the time spell's in the same place, or is she already there? She yes. is somewhere here in the Vought Many Forts. Okay. Um, we did a commune... Tuza did a commune. Um, oh, shit, no. I asked, will we find someone who knows where we can find Serenata in Vought Many Fords? And we found Bright Note, so he knows where we can find her. He knows how to find her. He knows how to find her. And then we do possess the ability to awaken her. So Is that, like, with, with the songs, like he said? Is that what... Yeah, it's it's something about enticing her with a performance 
mm-hmm. that she deems us worthy of her presence. Oh, great. I don't, so I'm hoping... No, yeah, we got this, man. I mean, yeah. right now we'll just fucking do the next draft of the Dawn Force song, and it'll be great. Then we don't even have to introduce ourselves. She'll already know who we are. <laughs> if I may ask, you should probably include... Do a bigger portion of the Aracocra, specifically hey. Lee, uh, okay. because he is—he's the voice. And then uh, I, see it. I see it. Yeah, um, and then me with being the uh, captain of the Azure Guard. You know what? This is what the song is. We're not doing the Dunforge song. We're gonna make a song about this, about you three coming together to be the you know greatest of all time. Fuck. How's that sound? We're yes, gonna make that a... sounds amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Bright note. Yeah, yes, yes, no, I'm already, I'm already, <laughs> already thinking. Let me see. The 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 Arcadia way. The, the awakening I of the Arcadia and Arcadia or something along those lines. Yes. The yeah, return yeah. of thunder to the world. Return to wing. You know, there's all sorts of imagery to be played with. This is this this. Yeah, yeah. The storm takes wing. No. Ah, the storm okay. takes wing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> A good one. At eight. Um, and then we just go fuck off and write while he stares at his knife for the next hour. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> and then uh, anybody else want to do anything this night? Perfect. All right. Uh, so yeah, you're fully Real attuned film. to your knife. You're able to make shadows dance and shit with with. Uh... Can I take? I I don't know if I've ever tried this before. I'm gonna try this now. Can I take my own shadow? You can definitely try. I'm going to slice my hand and see if I can take my own shadow. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, bu- 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 bu. Let's see, pull up shadow drinker here. Oh, shit. I did 11 damage to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Roll sneak attack. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, shit. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did he give that back? Or did he not take no, it? No, he, he didn't take it. take it. I tried to give it back, but he wouldn't take it. Just making sure. I'm trying to yeah. remember I'm just I'm just picturing Uza like doing the knife game from Alien and then stabbing himself in the uh, hand. Yeah, five fingers <laughs> away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, you duck, 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 duck. Yeah, you watch your you watch every aspect of shadow peel away from and off of uh your body and pull into the sword. Uh the, the sorry, the dagger. Dagger. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to cast the shadow in front of me and I think I get a minute of it. I'm going to make it move around like it's in combat but in a more <laughs> elegant way i guess perfect like uh interpretive dance of fighting okay yeah we're talking like yeah okay yeah it's yeah kind of flipping slicing with the air but in like yeah way more. way Martial over the time okay all right yeah okay okay, okay. um yeah and then before the time is over i'm going to release the shadow back to me at 54 <laughs> seconds Perfect. You release it, then, yeah, shadow returns. Where is it? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. It might be longer than that. Ten minutes. I have it for only. It's ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, then I'm definitely going over to Bright Note's room and just like banging on the door, like, look, 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 and then I'm gonna make it do its thing. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna help? Yeah, I mean that's such an, that is a very impressive display, and by campfire it should look even better. Projected roots to trees around us. Quite impressive. Perfect. My hand hurts. Stop stabbing it, and he'll reach out and he'll he'll cast cure wounds. No, also no. Also no. Like yeah, I got to do it at least one more time. You heal oh. seven, <laughs> but your wound closes. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. You know I can just like do that, right? Do what with the. <laughs> minor illusion and have like a <laughs> vice air shadow walk up to him and like tap him on the shoulder <laughs> do no like I, I, oh, I know <laughs> but I like we're trying to like be over the top to get her attention I just figure having no, the yeah. actual shadow of the azure guard captain might help I don't know no, that might no, be a waste no, of time no, that's right. no 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 I, I see it now you yeah. play your part and I'll help and then I throw like up other like setting a little bit like maybe other birds for him to interact with and stuff fuck yes yes exactly that see see but it's I, all now it's, this, I, it's a stage play and yeah, you know starring this the actual guy from the story right yeah. anyway. starring Uza Shadow as Uza that's fucking great 
That's great. It's official. We've reached four, Zoom. <laughs> Wait, why is he getting a car driving away? Oh, he's racing. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, he'll show up looking exactly the same every year yeah. from here on out. <laughs> oh, his tread's a little bit nice. Okay. Oh, also for the uh, the victory of fools, um, it was Uza that had the major crush. So he just had uh, uh, what's her name with anime eyes because he had the doe eyes. <laughs> there it is. Ah. That sounds a lot more likely. Right, so, yes. yes. Um, you guys find your your rest uh, for the night in this magnificent mansion. It is super super comfortable. It is. It's it gives the uh, the tent a run for its money. Uh, it's, but uh, you know it's nothing unusual for you guys at this point in your adventure and career. So you guys all awaken fully refreshed. Um, uh, hold on. Uh, blood scale was curled around the egg again, though. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. Um, and then, did you tune to anybody in specific this time? Did you uh, no, I had I took everybody back before we, we went All to right, bed. So. Figured. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, you curl around the egg and roll for this every night. Let's see how that function, 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 function. Nothing happens. <laughs> And nothing happened. <laughs> the joys of dice rolling. <laughs> Perfect. Nothing uh, happened to me, or nothing happened at all. Uh, make a perception check. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nothing happened at all. Oh. <laughs> Lame. You just had to roll. Uh, the first roll, you had to get. It had to be above a thirty on these. It got a twenty-six. A uh, second I thought roll it was, on this. I thought it was a nightmare roll. I was going to say, does being an extra planar space help us not have nightmares? It does, just, yeah. You guys do not have nightmares. Yeah. That and I'm just saying, this is technically the second roll on this. Yeah, the, the first roll is a 50-50. And that's gotcha. one in three. Oh, that's fine. That makes more sense. <laughs> you know what? You can roll it next time. I just had my dice out and <laughs> I'll let you I know didn't, that. I didn't know true. what to roll, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, yeah, so uh, did anybody anyone else do anything that night? I... Perfect. All right. Uh, you guys find your rest. Uh, you wake in the next morning with breakfast already served. It's a full English breakfast. It's way too much of everything, but delicious. Uh, and then the door, as soon as you walk out of the door, it's like here, it's impossible to tell that any time has passed at all uh the door seals itself up and there's just a slight musical chime as like, da -da -da and then whoosh, disappears when you're on the outside of it can i just wait for you in there <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i mean it's pretty dark out we might even be able to find our way back <laughs> it's okay well after that also um uh, you're, you're you're gonna need to let me know when we're gonna do this whole um, yeah, of course. deal. Perfect. Well, shall we? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, uh, Counting on you. <laughs> Trust me, I have no intention of not honoring everything about our agreement. Oh no, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, like this, this is a big deal. Like I, right, I can we, can we be this. sneaky okay. again? Absolutely. Perfect. All right, so um. Uh, everybody go ahead and give me a stealth check. Are you guys Zephyr, cast without a trace? Zephyr, Zephyr, speak sneaky again. Be sneaky again. Do the sneak. Womp womp. Sneaky snake. Uh, like I say, are you sticking with that? That one? <laughs> no. Oh, Maznos is invisible. Yep, he gets invisible. Invisible. 21. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I have to roll for these guys. Waste my first luck point of the day. Okay. Well, I am using Pass Without a Trace, so. Hey, Immediately. Hey. 38. <laughs> nice. On, uh, 51. Yeah. Who's it gets to hear from Shadow Lady? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't even hold on. I didn't, I didn't roll my guidance yet. <laughs> 
because I wanted to see if I could get it. Yeah. Roll it. Okay, 55. So, 55. 55. Uh, so as you all... 55. <laughs> the, the bare light that you have to see, the, you see the, the single black petal drop from the staff as it hits the darkness blooms around you and you feel the shadows cling to you more tightly. Uza, you flatten into the darkness. You pull your wings. You crunch down. You, uh, you just suddenly feel at home in this place this place that is stifling and awful but now wraps you like a blanket and instead of an oppressive feeling it's this home feeling so oh that's probably not good you've come back look how naturally it comes to you you're so very good at this did he tell you a little bit. Hi, hi, Shaw. Um, I don't want to make this awkward. That's but a good I'm already plan right kinda... now. Okay, okay. When the world I'll is just... covered in darkness. It's bad to make me angry. For sure. This is. I'm having a great time. This is super fun for me. Yes, isn't it? Knowing that no one could possibly see you or stop you from doing whatever you wanted. Because you are so very far away from consequences. You could finally get blood scales goggles from him. <laughs> Easily done. <laughs> Is that what you want? These? And she holds up blood scales goggles. They just, they just float in front of you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He needs those. He has like nine eyes that he has to protect. There's only two of the. Uh, you... Are those real? Can I insight check? Are those real? Uh, yeah, you can do an investigation check on them. Twenty-seven. They seem real. Oh shit. Bloodscale, make a perception check. I think Bloodscale hasn't worn the goggles in forever, so. Yeah. Bitch. Let's go. Oh, your it goggles won. are missing, and you know the only motherfucker who's ever wanted those goggles. <laughs> I just, I just pulled the little fucking sending stone like, Uza, give me back my fucking shit right the fuck now. I don't know if I want to touch them right now. She's here. You tell her. I know she's... Just hold on. You tell her we know she's there. I'm gonna I'm start gonna... sniffing with the white. Okay, my uh, Sarah's just like so confused right now. It's like, huh? Huh? Thank I'm gonna, I'm gonna start that. sniffing with the white. Perfect, uh, make a survival check. I have to do it. I'm gonna make a perception check. <laughs> okay. He's 55. Well, hold the fuck on. I, because this is goofy and I want to, I am using a luck point on okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 25. I think I'm going to get it if he fucking crits. Still cannot detect any trace of her. Damn. But does the white get pissed off about it? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, the white is like, she's not here. He's lying. It's, it's impossible that she is. It's, no, it's not happening. No, if, if they were there, I would find them. <laughs> hold on, hold on. A lot of yelling. But does the white catch scent of the goggles? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> Sorry. Just doing that weird, creepy, like all fours lizard movement towards like <laughs> beelining for the goggles right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take the goggles really quickly Perfect. and. Toss them at blood scale. The instant you take them, it's like, ah, accepting a gift. Wonderful. I'll see you later. Oh, shit. No, I was returning what was stolen. Silence. I was, I'm mostly saying that to myself. I was returning. <laughs> as, as he throws them at me, I catch him in my stolen. mouth. <laughs> I was, I was, I'm going to, as, as he catches them, I'm going to like, just be in his face all of a sudden and just grab uh, she said I took a gift from her. I didn't take a gift. I was returning what was stolen. What the fuck do I do? I already have... Oh, God, I gotta pray about this. This is not good. Uh, I'm so fucking fucked right now. Why did I screw this up? If she becomes a problem, 
the next time she's directly in front of you, I will peek over your shoulder, and I will atomic breath her ass. <laughs> uh, bright note, we have an issue, it seems. <laughs> Yes. Uh, what is that? Uza, do you want to tell the nice man what just happened? There's just a small glow at like the back of Blood Scale's throat. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, dude. I didn't take them. I'm over We're here. We're just preparing. I'm that like so 20 feet away from you. Please. What uh? Uza, I will. Uza, tell tell Bright no what just happened, please. Yeah. So um, she talked to me again. Of course. And I was like, hey, you know, this is cool and all, but, like, I'm already a champion of another god. And she's like, oh, what do you want? Let's be in here in the dark. Consequence free. And I was like, oh, wow, I could, like, finally get those goggles I've always been fucking with Bloodscale about. And then she had them. I was like, oh, I got to get those back to him because he's going to be pissed. Okay. If he notices, and he noticed, he never notices fucking anything, by the way. It's fucking weird. Like, it's only the goggles. Like, it's just the goggles. I've literally done 30 things to that fucking <laughs> dragon man. The, like, the, like, cut, no, the I have a, like, at his neck, like, you stop, bro. <laughs> so I have a right. small question. Yes. <laughs> How far away was Uza from me? Uh, your guys' usual travel pattern is 30 feet. All oh, right, because he's gone. He's yeah. Okay, so with, I do with, have with the darkness, I would have been like fifteen, twenty feet ahead of the next person in in order. And blood scale usually kind of follows fairly close, just to be yeah. the muscle. Yeah, yeah. Blood scale users are usually the next people. In so if he was only fifteen feet ahead, yeah. And my dark vision was only half to thirty feet. Mm -hmm. Would I have actually noticed the goggles not in his hands the moment I noticed they weren't on me? Uh, it would have been in front of him, and with you behind him, they would be, they're so small that his body would have blocked any side of them. Okay. Good question. Just, just check it. All right, so we should I'll keep try going. to exploit that nat 20 as much as possible. <laughs> we should move <laughs> faster now. We should not be here. We should continue forward. To yeah, maybe we, there. maybe we skip on the pass without a trace. She seems to, like, hone in. On that, actually, you know what? Know what? Better, even better. What? What's going to happen here? Because y'all need it. I'm going to be uh, 35 feet away from Zephyr. We're going to do that. Yeah. Thumbs up. Cool. Cool. Because this is not cool. I need to talk to Akadi tonight. Um, by Sarah, save a banishment for me. Maybe. I don't know. I need to. We'll see how it goes. It could happen. Yeah. Oh fuck. Blood scale is still in full channeling light mode though. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, do um, I take a level in Warlock now? Or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys continue on uh, with uh, Uza 35 feet out just outside of the uh, um, Pass of Elder Trace and you guys continue onwards. Um, oh shit, I missed that Viser got a natural 20. Oh yes, I did. That's 38, yeah, Viser. Um, you, uh, during, like, after you guys continue to move in the darkness, I'm like, He's not the only one who Oh, Lord wants of Mercy. Things. Just let me know if there's anything you want. Right, right, right. By the way, Fobotor is fucking with you. Mm. He's the one. Maybe give him some attention. <laughs> is that what you want me to do? I, you know, you're your own person. You can do what's in your own benefit or not. That's not up to me and... Uh, I'll have no business of it right now. <laughs> ah, silver tongue, very clever. You'll be much more difficult than me, Aragogra. But I'll prove my worth to you. Keep thinking about what you want. Just tell the dark and I will hear. That's all right. You guys hear Vicer just chatting in the dark. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. He's got Thankfully. another one. <laughs> fine, we're fine. It's cool. Nothing. You know what? On the scale of fucked upness that has happened, we've been outside of Kern for two days, and that's not bad. <laughs> right. But also, I'm trying not to urinate on myself. Just yeah, a heads up. No, that's good. Yeah. Every yeah. time somebody just starts talking to themselves, you see, like, the full lizard motion blood scale, like, rush up to right behind them. <laughs> 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 I forgot how 
fucking tall you are sometimes. You are a large... <laughs> oh, he's a force. <laughs> yeah, oh, force. Ah. Even so, you are a large dragon man. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I just want to sis... stand on your back Taller. and like ride you like a surfboard somewhere. Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw that and make millions on Patreon. How do you know Mesnos isn't doing that right now? He's invisible. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> about <laughs> invisible. Alright, 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 alright. Right. We're still in danger, I think. So, you, guys, you guys continue uh, onwards. <laughs> How is this session a session about crawling through the dark and talking to the god of darkness with time bubbles that we gotta go fuck with more funny than the goof off <laughs> fucking characters that we made for last week? Because you guys made me feel real bad last week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I'm sorry. No, no, it's, not it's, our it's intent. Fine. Oh no, that's it more of a joke. But um, I'm not. You okay. deserve it. Oh okay. so, damn! Oh god, it's another tone shift. As you, <laughs> as you guys continue forward, um, what? Uh, uh, can I get perception checks from everybody? Not bad. Ooh, Mezzy. <laughs> Having jack of all trades. Ooh, blood scale. Nice. <laughs> just think, yeah, maybe there's a chance. Oh, Zephyr! Oh Look God. at all these green. What is happening? Okay. Um, Amazing. That's quite good for. I all think my stairs just. I mean, out. when you when you start telling people the shadows are starting to fuck with us, everybody gets real fucking attentive. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, guess I forget your characters know things for some fucking reason that is still uncanny. <laughs> My character does two things. She drinks and she knows things. <laughs> she sees things, too. All right, so, um... In fact, did anybody fail this? Well, Zarek got a 10. Zarek? So, it was 20 or above, and, yeah, two of you barely missed... Like, that's insane. Okay, so, um... You guys see ahead that That Zarek is just... Zarek is... Not paying attention. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's like, look at that bug right there! Holy cow! I think, what is that? I think Zarek has gotten oh, so bored. Got here is made Zarek's not in the group chat. He doesn't know. <laughs> I think, I think with the with the darkness, Zarek's brain has started to wander, and you're just starting to like intense arcane equations in your mind since there's literally nothing to see but darkness. Um, yeah, it's been me driving to work without my phone to play music. <laughs> like forty-five minutes of just. That's, that's exactly what's happening. Um, so those of you who rolled a 20 uh, or above, uh, Zephyr, of course, <laughs> first, Jesus. Uh, so you guys see that there is uh, over to like uh, ahead and then just to the right, uh, almost at a 90 degree angle from you, there is a in between two two trees and it goes up. It's not dark over there. And you barely catch it between this, uh, the magical darkness around you. Uh, it just barely shines through. I poke. Mesnos, I'm like, not dark, not dark. Yeah, Over there. It. I see it. Mesnos is invisible. <laughs> yeah. He's right Mesnos. next to me, so I blindly just, like, shove out to tap him. You poke so, him right in the eye, him. and he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know I'm right now here. Now he has the blinded condition. He, he, like, takes uh, your hand he, and puts it on his shoulder. Yes, I see it. <laughs> all right. Um, and then as you, as all of you look, uh, you, you, the, you look behind you, you see that uh, <laughs> Ulu, Threeza, uh, Tuza, and, uh, yeah, and, and Bloodscale are all looking the same direction as you as Viser and, and Zarek are just kind of continuing forward. Oh, yeah. Um, it is lightly hissing. <laughs> As uh, I notice I'm getting further away from the hisses, I turn and ask, wait, wait is something going on? <laughs> Hello? It's not dark over there. It's not dark I, over there. It's not dark over where? All right, I'm coming <laughs> your way. I just start heading towards him. Uh, and then I, I tap Zarek. Uh, As you guys... We gotta go get closer to them you yeah. see where they point out there is a section of trees where it's not as dark there's just right between is two there, trees not as dark in that spot where it's not dark is there any kind of uh, uh, involvement with any of the um, wind coming through moving it around rustling it 
Nope. Um, just perfectly still. Can we just, like, here. perception check? Well, we already perception check. Can we investigate? You guys can investigate the, this place if you want. How close do you want to get to it? I'm pretty stealth right now, so I'm going to get close. Perfect. I'm, I'm going to get, get about feet away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll hang with Uza. All Let's right. go. And I'm watch perimeter and flank duty. I am going to make sure I'm 35 feet away from Zephyr at all times. Perfect. <laughs> Natural one. That's is that for Lord Threezer for you? That was that was meant to be me. Okay. Perfect. Um, it's the same stat. I applaud your honesty. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. I mean, well, it's funny because like as soon as you get outside of the bubble, it's hard to see back through the bubble because that's the whole point of it. So they're kind of blocking right. you from seeing. So. Um, uh, anybody else investigation check? Um, yeah, yeah. Give me one second. Okay. I'm an investigator type. Why not? Uh, it depends if you want to let Mezno do it or not. Mezzy can if he wants. Ooh, baby! Uh, <laughs> so, my <laughs> sir, you, you look in and you recognize that that's where the streets of Menestros. Ooh. It's it's a natural night beyond those trees. It is not a magical darkness. There are stars in the sky. You can see there is a moon. Like you all can like, gather little bits of this, but Viser, you know for a fact. Zark, you too. Well, wait, no, Zark, you've never been to Menestros. You don't know that. Uh, but yeah, Zark, you know that it's a there is a non magical darkness, like a, a regular darkness happening throughout the like past these two trees. Just tell everyone it's Menestros. Okay, do we want to go that way? Like, what are we doing? Oh, sorry. Uh, wait, wait. Viser and Zarek, you see Kenku running along the streets. Kenku? Yep. Two Kenku frozen in time. There's Kenku. But they are. Wait, what? Right. Yeah, some frozen in time. Something's going on here. Something very odd. Hold on, Time's we are nowhere near like the actual city of Menestros, right? No, you're on a different continent. Um, so confused right now. It was a, you've made your, have you are you coming inside the bubble to look? We're hearing upon that. Uh, oh shit! People have entered the bubble. No, no. When somebody no, tells you there's Kenku to see, do you stay stay outside oh, the I, bubble? Oh, the. Yeah, no, instinctively he would have been like, what the fuck? You don't use that word. Oh, shit, there is one. Perfect. Okay, um, so give, as you look into this scene, you recognize this. You recognize the blue hood that one of those Kenku wears. Fine piece of blue fabric. Oh, I'm coming out of cell for this. Like, oh. No. Yeah, right? This can't... This, this look for me. There, how many how many are there how many There's kenku two. are there two you recognize them what are they doing uh, they're frozen they seem to be uh running through the streets of menestros that's hold on can i like change my can angle I, to I... see <laughs> if they're running what they're running from uh, it's impossible to tell from where you're at because it's just like literally a, a, this doorway and you kind of look, but it's just a wide can street. I, can That's... I tell if they if they look like owl? Owl kin type of... So kin all kin. Kenku were cursed to look the same. So they all look... Uh, okay. It's I mean, do they appear happy or sad or angry or frightened? Scared, maybe? Uh, they appear very excited. Oh. Uh, Uza, give me a history check. I mean, I know what that is. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's me. That, that's, that's you. That's me and my brother. Like, I wreck. That's. That's oh. Scrawl All. He's went like. And I, and I lift up the. Uh, the hood that has the. Uh, the Fay Wild crow feathers on it. That uh -huh. is this hood. All right, then. Did you guys do recognize that it's the exact same blue? I'm oh, cheese. Okay, so what are we saying? What are we? What, what's going on? We're seeing a fragment of time from Uza's past, in frozen this... in front of us on the wrong continent. I I know this spot. This is when Skrull all realized 
that he could make the sound and I'm going to do the, the mimicry. And it sounds just like, like a little girl being like, oh, geez, mister, help me. Oh, like not God. terrified, but like what a little girl lost in a crowd would sound like. And I'm like, that is, he, he did that and people paid attention to him. And I found out that I could cut coin purses really fucking easy. And oh, we got caught by oh a baker. God. And if you could see, there'd be a fat guy with a really big mustache looking like fucking Mario from Mario Bros, which was a book I read one time, chasing oh, us. Oh, the legend of Mario Bros, of course. Yeah. You know it. I was do. it Mario Mario or Luigi Mario? No, you it was see Mario that, Mario. Brother, That's why we ran. See. If it was Luigi Mario, we knew we would have been fine. <laughs> I think Luigi Mario would be faster than Mario Mario. Blood Scale's just watching for <laughs> problems coming from um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not feeling good about this. What yeah. if we go in there and I turn into that again? Well, uh, I mean, like, what is it doing here? Is time? This means time's already being broken somehow. Which we knew. We need to find the bubble with the correct Do, people in it. Right. Do I, I, the um, bubble. Let's just keep going. I Do I remember part. anything weird about that moment? Like some kind of magical blip or anything like that? Make a history check. <laughs> can, I guide, can I guidance myself while I think about it? Sure, why not? All right. It's a plus zero, so. Yeah, oh, dirty 20. Nothing no, you recall. Um, okay. I do hate to be. I, If I've been mapping us correctly, we have to go <clears throat> that way to get to the fjord. You, have you seen this before? Uh, I've heard of the time bubbles, but I've never had the interact with one. It's not a high on my list of things to do. Alright, is there going to be a problem if we accidentally interact with one, or do we need to avoid them like the plague? I, I don't I don't know. Alright, let's oh. avoid it for now. Alright. Um, but we have to I go need through. The group to it's blocking our way. We have to go Literally through or we go through over? Uh, I don't know how tall it goes. Is there an around? I'm gonna see, I'm gonna scout and see if there's an around. Okay. Uh, as you <laughs> uh, give me, uh, let's see for this to be like a survival check to try to map the boundaries of it. Uh, it's weird. I will. Um, like it seems like every time you move away from it, there's like. It, there's like the door almost like follows you but there's uh, so you go around you try to get around it but it seems to like shift in front of you no matter where you go so he's on one side I'm on the other and we're both kind of yeah. like ah well, it, this guys, isn't gonna work you guys try to like treat it like a bubble but every time you go like one of you goes left and one of you goes right but you guys can never go any further inward it seems to like move with you and it's always the same angle oh this is annoying okay yeah we gotta go through all right. Well, um, let's go through. Let's just get oh, it over with. Wait, right. oh, hold on. I will, can I can I try something before we do that? Yeah. No. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I kid. Go ahead. Let's. I want to pick up a rock mm -hmm. and good. throw it not at me, but in front of me. Sure. You pick up the rock and you go to throw it, and it stops the instant it hits the between the two trees and just freezes. Okay. There. Well. So, What's to stop us from freezing like that? That's very true. Exactly. Uh, does anyone have an automaton or something we could use? Uh, I, I could, I guess, uh, hold on. Pulls out a broom, animates it <laughs> with a song. Oh, God. <sighs> what a horrible existence <laughs> this broom has had. <laughs> Yeah. And so it starts walking <laughs> forward, and then were you, you see... carrying a broom around this whole time? That's so insane! Oh, I love it. I don't know when you're going to need a broom. Uh... I mean, if and anything, then... this has proved him right. Absolutely, it? it does the exact same as the rocket hits and then freezes. Okay, I want to try one more thing. Um, if it's you going in, I'm putting a rope on you. No, I was going to say we put a rope on. Sorry, Lord Theresa, but we put a rope on Theresa. I mean, that's what I'm here for. Uh, he cracks his neck. My stairs are gassed. With your permission, 
I I don't. I I but I right. So but like, what if the broom is a construct, so it gets stuck, right? Like, we can't. If we send three sets, the same question. We still won't know if someone who's not a construct can make it through. Okay. Well, so hang on. How about I hold my hand out? Something's and... happening to the broom. Uh, what? You guys turn to look. The broom has started to clearly age and start to decay. Like it's, oh. like it's now an old broom. I think being stuck between two times has not done it any favors. Well, I mean, I lived for a really, 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 really long time now. So Fuck, I can't even touch one of these things. I will die. I could try to go through and... Well, I mean, nothing's going through. Well, well, not... I, like, all right, so this is just in our way, right? Is there any way, of, like, like, we could dispel well, magic or something? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I could try going in, and if I go in, like, Sorry. I've only lost a few years, Give and me I'll kind of check. leave a hand out, and you guys could just yank me back. Oh advantage. no, that'll be a that'll be a rope situation. Yeah. Preferably, do we have magical rope? Yeah, but the rope could okay. break because of the age. I won't break because of age. Real That's quick. why I'm asking if we have magical rope. Zarek, That's uh, why you just grab my hand. You would know um, boundaries between things, especially um, when it comes to uh, the Astral Sea. Crossing the boundary is the most dangerous part. But once you're inside of, you know, uh, different creation bubbles, then you're able to pass through and, and leave. It's just the spend as little time as you can crossing the boundary and then you should be in that new zone of time okay do you share this with the class no <laughs> huh? so we're back <laughs> we're back to zephyr with a rope, <laughs> cool rope so. zephyr's literally just gonna jump through bitch if you and do that <laughs> i'm not i cannot save and you leave, if and I go leave in there, hand die. Like, she's leaving her hands on one side, and then she's, like, hopping through. So wait, she's really leaving her hands on one side? The, wait, what's, what's Derek saying? <laughs> so there would behoove you to cross the boundary with haste. Okay, so I go really fast, and I jump. <laughs> so, uh, you guys watch as she jumps, and you guys see her freeze in time. But, uh, Zephyr, when you jump, you go... <laughs> Hi, goofy baby. Uh, you go through, and then you find yourself in the middle of the night in the streets of Menestros, and you see the two Kenku run away, and a big fat man with a mustache chasing after them. <laughs> bless, bless your heart, Ty. Bless your heart. Okay, so I am going to jump back. There's no door behind you. There is literally no door behind me. I'm going to keep going. Okay. And kind of look around a little bit, and uh, oh my god, a, give me a <laughs> How about the sending okay. stones? How about the sending stones? Can I? Can they time. hear me? They're not connected oh. or exist in this time. Uh. Uh. All right, guys, let's go back to current. Zephyr's died. We gotta rethink <laughs> this whole thing. Uh, you do see that um, she does not seem to be aging like the broom did. Yeah, she literally just said she doesn't age. That doesn't make Uza feel better. He dips a toe in this thing, and he's going to die of fucking Alzheimer's. <laughs> um, you also notice she didn't stop like the broom did on the door, where there's between. There's no part of her on this side. She's completely within the vision now. Oh, okay. Oh. Mesnos will come out of invisibility and just jump in, because it's... Yep. Follow its effort. You see Mesnos jumping, <sighs> freezing time. And then... <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on, I forgot one thing. Oh, there you are, Mesnos! Um, you see Mesnos... So you see Mesnos jump through, and you see as he jumps through, uh, a rock smacks him in the back of the head. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fucking <Ooh>. yes. <laughs> oh, that was the rock from earlier. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Somebody should clean up what's left of this broom. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, all right. Like, well, now they just have to jump through. I don't know how to get us back. Yeah, we'll solve that. We do. If well, we let's see how long it takes them. Well, if you live long enough, you can tell them. You know, warn them. 
not to do this if it's all that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, while we're standing there, does she walk out of the woods and tell us what to do? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. If... <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? Can't like wait Blood for Blood scale's just fire. watching for threats, so. Perfect. Uh, uh... Check. I look over at Zarek like, what are you doing? Do I have anything, any bonus, because I have the white? Mm. Uh focused right now yes i'll say because you you have you he can look for threats you're familiar with i'll give you advantage for that that's that seems fair wow 19 still 19 yeah, yeah, yeah. 19 ain't bad it ain't bad yeah there's something good, off of the there, there's definitely something walking around in the darkness uh probably to the, the north of here which direction did we come from uh you came from oh wait, sorry you guys came from the south west and you headed northeast. So would that be on the other side of this thing? No, no, it's 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 uh it's not no. No, cuz you're headed northeast and this is the noise is coming from straight north. Okay, so off to our left basically. Mhm. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Okay. If it gets closer or not. All right. So are they both dead? Like, are they stuck there again? Like, are they out of range? Esnos aging. Esnos isn't aging. Um, I, I mean, believe they're fine, but this sort of magic is uh, not my specialty. Where's the other side, though? Because, like, I, like, this is a big city. What if there's just a puzzle we have to figure out inside? That's true. Could be something like that. Look, I got like 12 years max. If I step in there and we're wrong, I'm not coming out. Yeah. Who's yeah, that? True. Who's that? true. Zephyr can bring you back. That's true. Time Look, boy. I'm Hold on. I'm part... Time boy. Yes. Time boy. Uh, is that my nickname? I mean, yeah, we all have nicknames. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, yes. He's well, Blood Bro, I'm Blood Bro. <laughs> Do I mean, I under, look, I understand you're Garmorn. I'm not a, I'm not that no, completely no, I, stupid anymore. It's just a new nickname I hadn't heard yet. Um, yes, what? <laughs> uh, Do you prefer Time Baby? Uh, I don't prefer Time it, Baby! Prefer, prefer, kind of. Wibbly Garmorn. wobbly, timey wimey. Yes. David Tennant. We'll just call him David. Do you want me to go through? No, I want you to. Oh, what do you. Uh, I just want to know what you think. I mean, I think if it's uh, if it actually does go back in time, the reason you know they're frozen is because that time and this time don't sync up. So we see the last action they had in this time before going to that time. But once the time bubble is resolved or whatever, maybe they'll come back to this one. Like it was like right. That sounds that sounds like an endorsement to jump in. I mean, Can I flavor? Specific. Yeah, absolutely. Flavor. Ooh, what do you want to flavor? <laughs> so, um, as the Mario man's running around, I just trip him. Yes. Okay. I was actually okay. So no bullshit. If I may interject, I was actually thinking about asking Ty if I could trip him by vaguely remembering Mario man randomly fucking tripping as he was chasing us. So that is no bullshit. <laughs> oh, too late! I got there first. So the, I funny thing is, amazing. the funny thing is, you, you wouldn't have been able to trip him by just thinking about it. But now that, uh, so uh, as you all cross through and to this this time, uh, you guys watch as <laughs> Zephyr just casually trips him. And then uh, <laughs> it was a, you, you remember now that you guys but run so fast and so hard, you don't actually know how you got away from the butcher. He seemed like he was dead set on catching you, and then he just kind of stopped chasing you. And you ne But you were so scared, you never looked back. And you realize Zephyr must have tripped him. I, I looked over to Uzzah, and I just kind of gave him a hug. of like, I got you, buddy. That is fantastic and super awesome, but also terrifying because that means we can affect the past. Yeah, so we yeah. gotta be careful. Oh, that 
it's not greed, but it could be. So we got to be careful what we do. Let's let's go I quickly. I wonder how strong Bulbator is here. I'm um. Shit. Um. Go kill him now when he's a little weaky. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's only um, like a year ago, wasn't it? That's true. <laughs> you, you all look around, and there's a, uh, you know, it is the dark in the night, uh, the streets of Menestros. It's the, uh, uh, this would be closer to the market. Um, not, not like the main dragon market, but definitely in that general district. Um, yeah. Do you guys give me up some perception checks? Uh, Yes. Perception checks. Earth, so we're all in there now. Mm -hmm. Time to earn my keep. <sighs> I guess we're all going in. Of course, that would happen. Yep. yep. Okay. I am so far the most perceptive. Yeah, I don't see uh, Uzi. You still need to roll. Yeah, yeah Uzi. I'm, Uzi's actually just digging around in the bag of holding, trying oh, okay. to find a cloak. Uh, roll for three, Z. Okay. Well, let's Caleb will literally just put the dragon cloak on him, but he'll move the egg to a slightly <laughs> different position. Uzi, he doesn't know what you look like. <laughs> no, it's not that. We are, the, the two of us are the only fucking Aarakocra. And they just dropped a bear on you. And I appreciate that, but the reason needs one as well. We, if the reason, we are the known, bear's big enough that if you and three is it, just get close, he'll be fine. Perfect. We'll do that. Two, two, <laughs> two coke and a trench coat. <laughs> a trench coat and a trench coat. We tried this one as Kenku, but we were like, it was still too a little wonky. But maybe. Yeah. well, you guys actually, you know, you're, you're about you hunch over well enough, so you guys look like you're about a six foot tall being in a large bear cloak. <laughs> <laughs> if they can squash it down to five, I can cast minor illusion on them. Oh no, it only lasts a minute. Never mind. Yeah. So you guys, uh, you guys make your way down the streets. Um, We're gonna have our hood up. So yeah, it's has... like this, and maybe we'll think they're uh, furball. Yeah, just so long as we don't both do the talking, eh? Are <laughs> <laughs> you catching there for a second? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't let them know what we're doing, Peter. <laughs> Peter. Um, Peter. So, as you guys continue to walk, um, Zephyr, you again, uh, throughout the, 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 the night, it's a quiet night. You hear in the distance the exact same mimicry that uh, uh, Uza was showing off. <laughs> She's just laughing out loud, and she's, and everybody's looking at her all funny. And she's like, "I, I just heard the mimicry. It was." Nope. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, it's very effective. Keep fucking walking. No, no. Like, how do we, what are we looking for here? I just start like looking around, seeing what the hell. Investigation and... check. Oh wait, no, Zark, your passive investigation is what again? Twenty-seven. Yeah. Okay, Holy so... fuck! Here, try not to perceive anything on your way through the parking lot. So, Zarek, uh, you, as you guys are walking, you would see that uh, the streets don't properly end. They just kind of get fuzzy. The, the details of the, the, around you, as you hear the Orokokra get farther away, get fuzzier. Or, sorry, the Kenku get farther away. They're getting fuzzier. What's this? Huh. Go and give me an Arcana check. Or no, this would just be a straight in check. Sorry. He's so smart. Apparently. 23! Okay. Today. Um, <laughs> the 23, it comes to you that this isn't just a, play, a spot in time. This is part of Uza's personal timeline. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what Zach was thinking, but... It's nice to know that Zarek is thinking the same thing. <laughs> I, I do not believe we have traveled in time precisely. I think it is much more likely that we are experiencing a moment of specifically Uza's past. His perception, his memory of this event. 
Does that mean we're going to be going through everybody's memories at some point? Well, does that mean... I do not know. Have you... It could mean that... We are someone... not in this location in the past. This is this is a limited, almost uh, perhaps a, a, a demi-plane no. of sorts. It's literally a... It is, it is the past, but it's the past in relation to Uzo. Mm. So, it's not so a... It is... You would... The... Because of the, the trip and everything confirmed that you guys can affect it. And it is actually the past. No. Okay. But it's okay. but it's not like we could wander off away from past Uza and yeah, it see seems the to rest be, of the city. There is a, the the bubble is centered around Uza's past self. Okay. Um, would there be so, no way to know if this is a natural effect or if a person is willing this to be? Uh, yeah, Arcana check. 17. Uh, it seems to be a natural effect uh, because there doesn't seem... It, this seems to be just what time is doing for some reason in this particular spot and place. It doesn't seem like it's being controlled by any one entity or anything that you can tell. Like, there's no magical ley lines, there's no magical residue, there's nothing to indicate magic actually being involved, other than time is just being fucked. I let the team know that. Okay. So, uh, we're... Did you guys <laughs> go So at least closer? nobody's trying to trick us or, or mess with us. You know? Okay. Let's follow the mimicry if we can't. Do we follow the mimicry or do we just go past it? I point the way. Well, can we just walk outside of the bubble the direction we want to go? I think we should try that. I I turned a golden tone or no. (laughs) Golden tax? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Garvey with bright note or Garamarn with gold skin. Uh, the the our time lord. Garamorn. Yeah. Yes, Garamorn. Okay. Garamorn bright note. Okay. No, it's no no. No no. Garville bright note <laughs> is a character. He's the bard college guy. And then Garamorn's the son of what he thinks or we you hope is the god of time. Yes. Right. So turn to Garemore. Two different people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You can call him Time Bro. You guys know I don't know a lot about time, right? Like, it's just sort of... Uh, yeah, I haven't seen my father if it actually is my father. You know that, right? Fair enough. I, but, just, I have no idea. Look, we're all coming in here blind. I'm really just saying if you, yeah, if you have any the, ideas. I'm just worried about what'll happen if... We, that edge of the bubble catches up to us. Yeah, let's... Oh, is it actively moving at us? It, yeah, you guys, are, it's getting fuzzier and fuzzier as the... All right, yep, no, mimicry. Mim- yeah, we're following the mimicry, and I pointed yeah. out... Bubbles following Uza. Baby Uza. We should follow Baby Uza. Ken Howdy. Kuza, it finally happened. <laughs> so, uh... You guys follow Ken Kuza. How oh, dare you? Yes, you... <laughs> I, was, I, I waited the whole session for somebody to say. Uh, <laughs> so you guys follow in. Oh, I love this uh, session. <laughs> deeper and deeper. And then uh, with a 27 investigation passive, which is just, I can't hide anything from you, really. <laughs> uh, so, He's perceptive. Yeah, with a 28. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but as you, you're kind of moving through the, the city, um, you do see that there's a bunch of people gathered around this mimicry, and uh, can I get perception checks? Hot scales holding onto his coin purse like nobody's fucking business. <laughs> Both the oozes are, that's for sure. Oh my god, if one of you stole my wallet, you would have <laughs> so much money. <laughs> we were spending on the dumbest shit! I know, I know. Your clothes would suddenly just be ridiculous. <laughs> Mesnos doesn't carry money. <laughs> he doesn't. You guys have never given him money to carry. <laughs> He's just been able to ask us for whatever he wants, and we yeah. get it for him. Well, he literally has no use for it. Okay, so. Yeah. That's 225 ah! from the oozes. All right. Yeah, it was a... As a group, you guys are, are able to spot out Ken Kuza and 
save all of your purses from being cut. Nice. <laughs> I, I said it was a good grip. I didn't say it was the best one. Okay. Can, can you imagine? Yeah, though, but he didn't like, blood scales purse because that's just the bag of holding. Like young Uza and his brother with eighty-five platinum, just <laughs> <laughs> in our current bag of holding. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so, um, but as you continue, uh, Zarek, <laughs> your investigator skills, you do recognize that um, one of the doorways on the outside of the square, there's darkness beyond it where a door should be. There is something interesting over here. This doorway does not appear to be the way it ought to be. It appears to be a portal of some sort. Like darkness, like magical darkness, like we're used to seeing, or just... Yep. Yeah. I mean, it is possible that this is some sort of access portal to this realm of the past. I'll use Mage Hand to open the door. Uh, So as you cast Mage Hand, you notice that there's no handle to pull the door open. It's just darkness in the doorway. There's no door there. Yeah, it's like there should be a door, but it's just dark. Alright. Alright. Uh, you think it's a portal? You think it's a portal? You think it's a portal? You think, you think? think uh, does that arcane check or anything? Or we just... Yeah, you can arcane Zarek's, check. Zarek's pretty sure, right? No, I don't know where it goes. Oh, There's yeah, no yeah. ghosts. It probably goes somewhere. Let's go! It's like a programmer's back door. <laughs> I don't know what he just said, but I agree with it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys walk. <laughs> uh, before Uza goes through, because I'm curious, write yourself a note, slip it in your pocket, and see kind if of, you have it. <laughs> kind of. In the because future. I came up Wait, with a lore reason. you created a time paradox. <laughs> I've created a lore reason for all the magic items that I started with, except for one. <laughs> Uh-huh. And I want to find up right now. I want to see if I want to see if I can identify the easiest mark or a mark that I remember hitting that day. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Um, there is. You remember this was a really good day because uh, you guys got people coming out of the opera house, and so there was a lot of people in very fancy suits. But uh, there is this. Uh, did they, did they gun down a couple in an alley nearby? <laughs> oh, um, oh my god. I'm Kangu Man. Correct. You can't say that. Why? Where are the bark flights going? Oh my, oh my god. god. Um, but hold on one <laughs> second as I get the name. Oh, come on. Here we go, the theaters. There we go. Um, but there was one lady who, uh, she, instead of wearing a fancy suit like everybody else, she had a big, like, floppy hat with a feather in it and was kind of dressed almost like a a, a more dignity, like, like somebody had di- like taken a jester suit but made it into a real suit and it just had padding and stuff, so it was more of like this, uh, like, padded armor. Uh, and you, re- you remember her uh, being decked out do i remember getting uh getting a good uh cutting her coin purse do i remember oh yeah she was completely distracted she was telling so many stories she was basically trying to be she was almost trying to take the attention away from your brother (laughs) i want to slip the eyes of the eagle into her coin purse okay (laughs) then you won't have it I haven't used them in a while, and I legit do not have a lore reason for having the eyes of the eagle. I have for the for the armor and for the bracers. I did. <laughs> Ty, so are you just an actual time travel? Uh, maybe. Uh, so you guys, <laughs> you <laughs> go ahead and mark That's the boring. eyes of the eagle out of your inventory. Yeah, they're gone. You remember that the reason you chose her because she was going to have good stuff. So instead of you remember like going up and instead of going for her purse, you saw that she had goggles on her hip and you're like, Oh, way better. And you watch your Kenkusa right before you step through the portal, steal the eyes of the Eagle. 
and get all right on the other side i'm gonna tell everybody so i i, I think i might have fucked with the past but maybe in a good way i don't know where did those eyes of the eagle originally come from there's an excellent question next bubble <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God. No, what are you doing? I can't believe you've done this. Ah, they said not to fucking break things. Oh Lord, we're gonna have these guys after us if you keep doing that crap. Stop. Have you ever, <laughs> ever <laughs> spent more than thirty seconds with me? I have. I just, I really need you to focus up here, but we're gonna I... get really screwed here. If if you mess, up, just next bubble, be extra careful. Don't give anyone anything. For the love of God, all right? So I as you guys are promise. as you guys are talking, you hear from the darkness beyond. Uh, I mean, if things are supposed to happen, it's not really. I've never understood choice, you know. You all a point. keep telling me that there's choices to be made, but I keep telling you they've already been made. Like, I have no choice but to... Oh, I... Sorry, that's what I start with with mortals anyway to kind of explain how I perceive things. Uh, oh my fucking god, I thought that was Bright Note. Who the fuck are you? Who is this? Who? What? What? <laughs> oh, you know what? That's right. Let's go back to when the sun was shining. And you guys watch the darkness... <laughs> And you watch suns and moons flip, flip, flip. Oop, a little too far. It shouldn't matter. Like you guys, before that. you see an um, elf in a fine blue suit, silver hair, and an eye patch over one eye, I'm going to This sounds you know. like Hersum, though. <laughs> you are welcome. Right. And have you done the first thing yet? I mean, we must have already done you the first thing. You child support, sir. Is there a first thing with you? <laughs> no, no. You know what? Let's have you do the first thing first. He snaps his fingers. And the Why world cries child. spins around you. You old child support. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know child support. I don't even have a kid. Is there a kid no, here all of a sudden? Uh, so, uh, and as the world spins around you, you find yourselves... The stars spin in place. And Jesus. you find yourself floating in the void. Lights flickering in and out of existence around you. Oh, you fuck see, you, dude. I know what that is. Yeah, you do. Uh, you see there are these two gigantic creatures. One with a singular eye, a gigantic maw, and two lobster-like claws charging forward towards this beautiful speckled out uh, Sphinx, uh, who uh, has tried to fed it off, and then behind it you see this what looks like used to be a woman whose back has become spiders, and is just has webs flowing out into space as she looks also like turns it. towards and launches webs forward, and that tangle up this Sphinx, and she pulls herself forward, and we're gonna pick up there. Fuck, yes. Are we witnessing the creation of the universe? What are we... What are we experiencing? <laughs> we'll find out next time. Uh, oh, it's okay. Greed. It's Wait, did we start? <laughs> we did start. I got that a long time ago, but you're fine. I know, I just wanted to do it again. <laughs> so, okay. Tune in next week, everybody, to find out what happens with the Dawn Force Company. Oh, dang it. Sorry, Vanish. I didn't see that you were in chat. <laughs> Hi, Vanish. Hope you had fun while you were here. Yeah. Whoops. All right. That's fair. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I did. I had my window closed because nobody ever chats. But, uh, you know, I guess I got to keep closer on that. But, uh, bye, everybody. We'll catch you next time.